baking powder. And I just mix all these ingredients together. So I'm gonna move this over to the side. In a separate jug here, I have some water. And into this, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. This just gives your dough extra flavor. Now take your wet and add it into your dry. And hold back a little bit in case you don't need it all. And then just go ahead and start to mix your dough together. So now the reason we hold a little bit of liquid back, I've said this before in bread recipes and dough recipes, is that you might not need all your liquid. So we're just gonna mix it. I can see now it is a bit dry, so I'm gonna add in the rest of my liquid. Okay, good, this is coming together. Now I'm almost there, but I can see that these bits are still a little bit dry. So what I'm gonna do is add a splash, literally a splash of water, just to hydrate that bit of flour and get your dough to form a ball. Then I'm gonna go in with my hand and then just pull it all together. Coco. Perfect. Coco. You'll know when you're doing this, you need a little bit more, you need a little bit less. Mm -hmm. Now how do we know that we've done a good job on bigger bowls baking? We've got a ball of dough and a clean bowl. Perfect, this is what we're going for. So there we go, how long did that take, Zach? Five minutes? Five minutes, okay, mm -hmm. so we've got 10 minutes left. The beauty about this dough is that you don't need to let it rise because it has no yeast. So we're going to use this straight away. I'm just going to dust my counter with some flour. Place on my dough. And then with a rolling pin, you can also do this by hand. Just roll yourself out a nice big pizza. Mm -hmm. Try to get it into a round circle. I know it doesn't always work that way. Mine doesn't always end up in.